Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, June 30th, 2019 edition. In today's edition, Princess Silver Ends, three productions that caught my attention, and Zhang Ruoyun and Tang Yixing get married. But first, that is a white rock. But it's not just any white rock, it is the white rock that the city of White Rock is named after. White Rock is a city outside Vancouver, and on a nice day like this, people like to come here and stroll down the beach, walk on the pier, get ice cream, and pretty much just enjoy the weather. That's just me sharing with you guys what I did over the weekend. You know what else I did over the weekend? I watched the last three episodes of Princess Silver, episodes 56, 57, and 58. So Princess Silver has come to its conclusion, and I won't give away any spoilers, but I will give my general feelings on it. I also know that many of you are following it and probably want to know if it has a happy ending or not, so I will touch on that too. Those of you who don't want to know if it ends happy or not, skip about 10-12 seconds because I'm going to quickly get it out of the way. So happy ending or not in 3, 2, 1, yes, it does have a happy ending, although there are some, let's just say, not so happy deaths. So the last episode has it all, just about everything you would expect from a costume drama like this. It had tears, redemption, sacrifice, now that's a big one, fights, long pre-death speeches, and then the ensuing blood-spitting death itself, and then of course an epilogue where everyone is either smiling or frowning. Not gonna lie, there were times throughout the series where I felt like dropping it, but then I skipped a little bit and then picked it up again as it got better. The later episodes got really good when they revealed Rungle's true identity and her relationship with Rongqi, and also how she contracted the Destiny's Poison and then of course in the end the ultimate sacrifice. Sophie, who looks terrific in ancient garb, was very charming throughout the series. I like the way both Arif and Leo carried their characters, and even though they both loved the same woman and both won her heart really, they were two very different characters. Wu Yu is very carefree, in fact his name in Chinese means no worries, whereas Rongqi always seemed kind of troubled. In conclusion, I would say the drama is actually quite good. Those of you who are thinking of starting it, I would say yes, go ahead. And those of you who have already started it and are kind of in the middle of it and it's starting to drag, I would say stick with it, you know, the end will pay off. Moving on, three productions caught my attention over the past couple of days, including Empress of the Ming starring Tang Wei and Zhu Yawen. It appears a 10 minute trailer was leaked online and is available to watch on YouTube for now. Empress of the Ming will be Tang Wei's first return to dramas in a decade and it looks to be a pretty big production. The drama also stars Lei from the K-pop group EXO. Vanguard is an upcoming action movie starring Jackie Chan and Yang Yang. Vanguard is a covert security company and the last hope of survival for an accountant after he is targeted by the world's deadliest mercenary organization. The action-packed trailer is also available on YouTube. Twisted Fate of Love is an upcoming costume drama starring Sun Yi and Jing Han. They held their booting ceremony earlier today where both stars were present and in high spirits. At the moment, there isn't much on it in terms of a synopsis, but there will be more to come on this, so watch this space. This past week has been quite disastrous for celeb couples, with the Song Jung Gi and Song Hee Kyo split, and also Fan Bingbing and Li Chen's breakup. But what I did mention was the bliss, which also happened around the same time. After much anticipation, Zhang Ruoyun and Tang Yixing tied the knot on June 27th in a beautiful ceremony in Ireland. The two had been a couple for about a decade before finally saying their vows while surrounded by family and friends. There were many celebs at the wedding. Sandra Ma, who wore a suit and slicked back her hair, officiated this ceremony. She also ended up with the bridal bouquet. The bridesmaids included Shen Mengchen, Li Qing, and Victoria Song, while the groomsmen were Liu Haoran, Guo Qiling, and Jing Boran. It was a star-studded affair. <laughs> Zhang Ruoyun has a couple of upcoming dramas that I'm waiting for, The Fated General and The Joy of Life, whereas Tang Yixing's most recently aired drama was Growling Tiger, Roaring Dragon. 